All right, this one's going to be on Newsbeater. Uh, it's been a long time ago, but I recently got into it. Uh, if you've never heard of it, it's basically a console RSS reader. So the first thing you want to do after you install it is just go into their uh, dot directory here. And we'll list out some files. So the files that you probably need is um, definitely you need this URLs file. And the other optional is the configs here. So the URLs is basically where you will put your feed. Okay. So you, I'll probably recommend you have to learn a uh, command line uh, text editor if you haven't learned one already. Like Nano will be the, the easiest. Right. But you can also use Vim or Emacs or something like that. Um, so we're gonna use Vim here for me, All right? And open up uh, your URLs here, and this is where you're pasting your feeds. So I have some for examples already, and if we add another one. Let's say for example, we're gonna add uh, Digital Watch, and sometimes they have, you know, if you have like a, a plugin or something like that, they have like this little orange logo here, and you can, you know, use the one uh, feed that you want. So let's say for example, we want this latest news here. And we're just gonna copy the feed link here, all right? Uh, so I just paste it in one per line, like I said. And the format to this, if you have Chromium, get, get rid of this thing in front here. We don't need this here, all right? Let's do another example. Uh, say XFCE. Now you know if sometimes you don't have this little icon on top. Sometimes they have it in their website, so you can always look at the little orange icon here, and then uh, copy link. And then we're gonna paste it, and that's all you gotta do, right? And then save it here. Uh, the next thing you need to do is set up your um, default browser because some people want to use uh, the command line browser, and some people like to use the GUI browser. So, what we gotta do here is uh, create a config file here, uh, it's just a text file, like I said. So, you can use whatever text editor you want, like you know. But like I would recommend is a command line one, okay? But I'm gonna use Vim um, and config here. And in here, all you gotta do is you know type in browser and then the browser name that you want. So let's say for example browser, and if you're using Firefox, it'll be something like this, or type in like uh, Chromium or Opera or whatever it is. Uh, if you're using a command line one, you know you just type in like I don't know eLinks. Uh, W3M or something like that, and that's how it will be your um, default browser. Okay, uh, so with that, you know, your config set up with your browser and your feeds already entered in. All you gotta do now is just launch your uh, news computer. So we'll wait for it to um, load it up here. So basically, what it's doing now is that it's going on the internet and it's um, you know, getting all your feeds here. If it doesn't do that, you can always do uh, manually yourself, right? Uh, you hit the R to reload a single feed. So you have to go into like here and then you hit R manually and it'll do that. Or if you want to reload it all at the same time, uh, all your feeds here at the same time, right? Then you hit the capital R and it'll do that. Now, the first thing with any, um, Anchors uh, text user interface. You have to learn the hotkey. So to do that, you know, you hit the was that the question mark here for help, and you hit shift and question mark, and, and basically these are all the hotkeys that you would need to know, all right? Some of these not that hard to you understand here, but uh, to go back and forth, uh, they have it as quit, but it's also go to the the previous page too. So quit is to quit the program. And is also um, to get out of uh, a, a screen that you want to go back to. So that's that. Another thing is, um, like I said before, I, I would recommend you have to learn a uh, command line text editor if you haven't learned one already. And that's what comes in convenience when you hit this hotkey here, right? And this will go directly to, you know, your RSS uh, URLs that we've used earlier. So I'll show you that in a minute here. So if I hit uh, Shift and E, you see it goes directly to that file, and it makes more uh, a little bit more convenient if you have a uh, you know command line uh, text editor instead of like a GUI one, which uh, wastes a lot of time. 
anyways uh, that's how you edit real quick and you still in the program though right uh, anything else here oh yeah so let me explain you how this works here so you have like nine feeds here right nine and the, the end means that you have new okay so there's some new stuff in there and you see that uh, the feeds here is like five out of five or 50 out of 50 or 8 out of 8 or something like that so these are, are still new if I go in there and I read one of them like if you go in here you have you know it's still new here if you hit enter you start reading it okay blah 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 uh, once you're done you hit uh, Q right you go back and they get rid of the end because you just read that already and if you go back with Q again uh, you can see that now it's like 8 out of uh, what is it, 7 out of 8 here right so that's how you read stuff in there now if you go into let's say for example let's go XFC here and you want to read um, this one right and let's say maybe there's a video in here that you want to look at or an image or something like that since this is a command line uh, you know RSS reader you can't really do that but if you set up your uh, browser to be uh, a GUI browser you can always hit O at any time and I'll open it up with your um, default browser that you set up in your configs files that we did earlier. So you hit O, and basically it'll open up uh, your browser, and you can still read it here if you want. Okay. Uh, so that's how you do that. Anyways, what else is there? So hit Q to get out of here, and hit Q again. Now, if you want to search for something, let's say you have a lot of feeds, and you just want to search for like a word that you want to look at. Uh, you can always hit uh, the slash right here, All right? So we hit slash, and it will search for a word. We'll search for uh, XFC. How about that? And um, you know, a few other uh, blogs has that word. So let's say Elix Mint here has that word on that. So we're gonna hit enter, and there you go. It highlights the the word XFC here, or whatever. Uh, so that's how you will search for stuff if you want to do that. Hit Q to get out of here. Now, what else is there? Oh yeah, okay, I, I got it. If you go back into our uh, our feeds, so you hit Shift and E. Now, in here you can actually add tags. Tags are basically categories, right? Let's say you have a lot of feeds. Uh, right now we only have nine, so it doesn't really make sense to do it, but if you have like maybe a hundred or a uh, thousand or something like that, it's kind of hard to like determine what the hell this category is for or whatever. So that's where tags come in. Now the way that tags works in here is let's say you have your uh, feed here and then uh, you have a space or a tab be in between them and then you just add your your uh, your tags. Okay. So this is the first tag, second tag. Now if your tag contains uh, maybe two words with the space in between it, then you want to use uh, quotations. All right. And uh, this one will be uh, just Linux Mint in one word. You can also do tags like a single word but in uh, quotations also. So if you want to do like quotations for all of them, uh, that's fine too, right? Uh, so let me show you how that looks like in here. So I put out this. So if you hit T, it will go into your tags, okay? T. So you see that I have Linux, Linux Mint, and MMA, Torrents, and Ubuntu, whatever. Um, I'll quit out of that. No, not in here. I did it wrong. So to get it out of that, get Q. So if you want to go into tags, uh, just hit T at any time, and these are associated to the ones that you've, uh, you know, assigned it to on our. Um, what is that? Our our tags there. Um. Oh yeah, this one is kind of like I don't know why they do this, but if you hit Q, it'll try to quit. All right. So to get out of tags, it's actually different. Right now we're in the what is that, the links tags. To get back to our tag screen or whatever, you have to hit uh, Control T to get out of that. So it's kind of weird they don't use the Q to get back on, on this uh, screen here. So for tags, you have to hit uh, Control T to get out, all right? And T to go back into tags. So this is for tags. Hit Enter. And now if you have a tag up top here, to go back, you always have to hit, uh, what was that, control T, right? Anyways, that's how that works. Now, let me go back to the, the editor or whatever here. If you want to change the names of it, 
let's say for example um you know like this one it says like uh linux mint blog or whatever uh or this one says all commands and you don't know what the hell it means or something like that and all you got to do is go into it so we go in here and we're gonna what was that change this thing here what did i say we want to change this to just call xfc only right uh, so the only thing that's different here from the tags or whatever these are not tags these are like renaming the, the title or whatever you have to have a little swiggy line and inside it is quotations so for example up top here like digital watch we're just gonna call this um, distro okay and let's say for Linux mint we're just gonna call this uh, what is that mint all right so that's how you will rename something um, on here. So you can see that we renamed it XFC just to XFC distro and then mint. Uh, just so you know, you can remember what it is. Cause some of these, like, how the hell do you know? Like this is this one. It says like all commands are here, right? I mean, what the hell does that mean, right? So that's how you rename a a, uh, a title or a heading of that RSS if you will need to. Um, I think that's about it for this one. Um, if you want to use it, it should be in your repositories. It's a very old program, but it still works well. And I might talk about some other stuff later on about this, but that'll be it for this one, right?